Hey guys, welcome to my new money making guide. Uh, these this guide includes three methods. All three methods include kind of new methods that were brought along with the Corsair Cur uh, Cove that area for free to play players. You need the curse set curse quest right there completed to get here. And the first method is going to be killing ogress warriors, and you can even safe spot them there using range or magic. And you can make about, it's about 100 to 200k per hour, I would say, killing these. Because they do have a really, really rare drop that is worth five or 600k now, so definitely look out for that one. These monsters are also one of the highest level free-to-play monsters you can even attack. So you will get some pretty good XP for this, and it would require kind of high levels if you're going to do it efficiently. You can technically do it with any range level or magic level because you can save spot it. You may not hit them very well at all. But like the higher your range level is, the more money you'll make per hour doing this. And you also get quite a bit more XP depending on your range level as well. So these are the drops that these can drop. And as you can see, the Shaman Mask, 570k, right there, pretty good. They also drop some Rune Medhelms, Rune Full Helm, Rune Battle Axe. They definitely add up. And the runes actually really add up too. Nature runes right there, 2 to 3k per drop. So that's really nice to get as well. Has cosmic runes, chaos runes, law runes, death runes. Those are all pretty good. I even pick up the common runes up there too. And they have some gems that I usually pick up. Not bad. So all those drops really do add up. And yeah, you can make some pretty good money, especially for free to play. The next method I have is fishing lobster or swordfish, whichever one you would prefer. And it is on. Corsair Curve again, Corsair Cove again, and it's, I think it's a little quicker to get to the bank than the Karamja spot that most people fish, so I would, I like doing this place, it, I think it's much better, there's no one here either, so that's kind of nice as well, and you pretty much just fish, run back to the bank there, pretty easy, and with this method, you could, it's not as much, you could probably get around 50k per hour doing lobster, and if you were doing swordfish, you would get more, you would get maybe 50 to 100k per hour, and it also depends on your fishing level, mine isn't that high, so I'm not getting it that fast, but as you can see, lobster there, it's not a bad price, so you can make quite a bit off this. Here's just a nice price check of how much swordfish are going for and it shows that you can make a lot of money off this for sure. They're 288 GP each so that's really good and a lot better than lobster so yeah you can definitely make 50 to 100k doing swordfish. So the last method I'm going to include is cutting u logs and right here as you can see on Corsair Curve Cove again uh, they're right here only one guy here so that's really nice and there's three so no uh no one kind of contesting you and taking your your trees so you actually get quite a bit you can also cut uh maple logs there too and you see you logs are 320 gp each so even more than swordfish so yeah you can make quite a bit off this definitely with no one around and no one taking your trees so yeah you can make decent money off that I'd say 50 to 100k again uh, the maple logs that's pretty much just to get your wood cutting up it's pretty nice that they're free to play now so yeah you can train getting your wood, cup, wood cutting up higher so you can make more money off cutting new logs doing that but overall yeah about 50 to 100k for that as well I'd say depending on your wood cutting level of course